Hello everyone, and welcome back to Revis Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. It's another nice and quick one today. We look at how to resolve this issue that you will usually get if you're working in Revit work sharing mode in a big office. Essentially, the error says that the element you're trying to edit in Revit is owned still by another user, and that's why you cannot modify it at the moment. It's often easy enough to just tell this other user to relinquish the elements for you by syncing to central. But what if they're on holiday or they are busy in a meeting and you just can't wait until they get back? Well, the good news is we can relinquish those elements for them as well. Let's see exactly now how we can do that. I will now switch back to my Revit window. It's Revit 2021, but the same fix can be applied to any other Revit version. So, imagine now we are trying to modify this wall here. If I try to make it maybe higher, I will for sure get this error. It's saying that until this other user receives to central and relinquishes, I cannot modify this element. The key to fixing this problem is this. You need to copy this exact username from the error message. So I will just highlight it there, right click, choose copy. We can now close this error without placing a request, simply close it by cancelling. Next, you need to close this file. And then, go to Revit Options. If you are seeing this recent file screen here, you need to close it first before you can get to Revit Options. The way to do this is by clicking here on this back arrow button. And now you can go to the File menu, choose Options. This is where you can temporarily change your username in Revit to be the username of this other user. I will highlight this field here, delete it, and then paste in here the name we copied from before, other user. Press OK now to confirm. By the way, I had to close the model before I changed that name. Because Revit can't do this, it cannot do this change when you are in the middle of editing your local file. Now the next step is to open that same central model again, the central model where you have this error. I will go to open now. Is this one here, central one? Make a new local the way you usually do. And now if you go to here, you can change this wall because you are this other user now. You can tell by the file name is now central one underscore other user. So file name underscore username. What I can do now is to relinquish those elements on behalf of this other user. To do so, I need to synchronize. Go to here, click on synchronize, click OK. To confirm the error has been fixed, we can now open a second Revit window. So go to your Revit button on your taskbar, right click, and choose Revit again. Now, let's, let's see if the, the error has, has been fixed. fixed. Under my default username, test, I will try to modify this item again. But still, you can see, it's still coming up with the same error. The reason is this, sometimes this other user can just fix the problem by syncing their local file back to central. But sometimes if the work set of this element is owned by their username, they will need to relinquish the work set as well. And the way to do it is this, under their username still, central one other user, you need to open the work sets window, either from collaborate work sets or from the little work set buttons down here. And you can see this work set that contains our walls here is now being owned by this other user. Simply synchronizing to central doesn't clear this name. That's when we also need to go in here under work sets Select the work set owned by this person and then choose to make this work set non editable. It's a bit counterintuitive, isn't it? Because we are trying to make this work set or these elements on the work set editable to us. But if you think about it, if this work set and its elements are non editable to this user, it will then become editable for everyone else. So let's now click on this button here. You can see the username is now no longer there under the owner column. Usually that's what you want. You shouldn't have any username under the owner column, only borrowers. B 
because if their name is here under borrowers, that means they have taken control of the elements temporarily. But the next time they synchronize to central, their name will disappear from this borrowers column. Whereas if their name is here under owner, they will need to manually open worksets and do the same step we did to make worksets non-editable to themselves. Alright, let's now click OK to confirm this and synchronize to relinquish these elements and that worksets on their behalf. On the right window there, under my proper username, I can now synchronize as well to get the change from central. And when that's done, if I go to work sets, I can see the name is no longer there. That's a good sign. And now, if I try to edit this element, Revit will let me because now it's freely available to everyone else. Moving on, you will also need to change the username here in the left window back to your default username. The reason is this, Revit keeps track of all the usernames that participate in a work sharing model. So if I now go to the Collaborator tab, under Manage, I can do Show History. And then select that central file from this folder here, this one there. Open it. You will see that Revit keeps track of this. So now you have a detailed record of all the users and when they synchronize back to central. This is why it's important for you to change your username back because you wouldn't want to work under their username. That's considered bad Revit practice. So let me close this window now and then close this model. And then go back to Revit options. And finally just change that username back to my default one. Now before we go, I have a bonus tip for you. You probably know already that to avoid this problem here, ideally everyone on the team should work on different parts of the building model. For example, if I'm working on level 1, maybe this other user should be working on level 2, just so we don't try to edit the same Revit elements at the same time. However, what if you really really have to work on the same region of the model? You can still do it without running into this user permission error. And the trick is this. Let me just change this username here back to other user so we can demonstrate this trick. I can now open the same central model again. Central one. And now let's say both other user and test will need to open and edit this wall here. To allow for this without triggering the user permission error, we need to use design option. So for either of the two users, we can go to design option, there's a little button down there. Just to create a new option set, you can name it whatever you like, maybe I can now call this walls. And now you have here option 1, under this option set walls. We can now make a second option, click on new here, and I will create option 2 for you. Close it down. Now select this wall we both want to edit. You can now use this little button down here. Add to options and add it to both option 1 and option 2. Synchronize this now and the same here so the other user can also pick up this change. And now this is when it gets interesting. For other user, they can be editing option 1. But for me, for my test username, I can now open option 2 and edit it. We can now open and edit the same elements without running into issue. Because now, they are now in different design options. When it's time to settle this and choose one of the two solutions, you can then go to here and make one of the two options primary. Maybe this one here. That would then delete the option set and you back to where you were again. Alright, we fixed it. If you like videos like this every single day, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Practice what you've learned and I'll see you in the next video.